Kala. Sound parking. And uh, I'm thinking at least do a little makeup because so we'll eat in the car, do makeup. Right up. Just do they even don't brush my hair as me. I'm gonna quickly brush my hair at least. So how I say I don't eat anything, it's just quickly put everything in the car, make it see. Yeah, Papchik. Tiffany, what are you there? Oh, my baby, can you sleep? So. We don't have any uh, vacation. I mean, come on, today's Sunday. What is it? Today, um, Sunday. You know, people go in the church, people go in the market. Uh, we are selling in the market. And after we go at home and, I don't know, preparing to the work or another thing, something, so I don't know. Or cook for another week, you know, to another market. Um, I was yesterday thinking what I will cook at night, but I'm just, just fell on the bed and just like, okay, I'm asleep. So exhausted. Robert, come. I don't know, thinking little store open or something, but it means what we are every day have to be there. This is the life. Wow, just uh, my husband come and say about, but they, some people tell me, um, compliment about me. I'm like, oh my God, that's so nice. Um, really glad to see me. Uh, it's really nice because my husband never make me compliment. <laughs> I mean, it's not like so much important, right, Tiffany? But until my parents never tell me anything. Now I married with husband. Husband did not tell me anything. Well, I've been lucky to find the people uh, Let me explain how good is the market and This is how No words I came in the car Let's a little bit talk over there. Good night. Even up. Have a little bit better mood, right? Let's will have better mood. Huh? Come here. Oh, some. Try to fit here. The camera. Oh, I hope it will be good to hear me because. I'm in a car and without microphone. I shut my You okay? It's heat fast. Even small pieces. Um, I live with my husband, and, you know, because we need a little bit. And, you know, relax or whatever. It's always I am do everything. And when I'm there, always I am talk. So it's just oh, nice birds fly. Well, my dog. So when I get my dog, we uh, was live in Illinois, and um, I was very vulnerable. The dog, of course, was dream of my life. Oh, you see another dog is there walking. Oh, wow. She's very excited. There's a woman walking with, walking with a dog. <laughs> when she, she says, oh, 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 my dog, dog. <laughs> um, well, when I get the dog, I ask the breeder. You know, she is like, Got a lot of dogs, you thinking like sh the human food. She say me no the people balance it. And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, how I even can ask like this? No, you're thinking, oh it's like she knows something, I don't know. 
Okay. So we feed her only kibble, of course. Uh, she even write the name. Which one? It's like a specific brand. Um, one year. Everything okay? Fine. I mean, how say everything okay? I mean, if you're talking about dog actual all days, what you have to feed her in the morning, you have to feed her in the evening. And actually, puppy three times. Uh, it's what she say. Three times a day. We feed her three times, okay? Um, and after when it's grow, like it's two time. That's what they say. We go in uh, a vet. <clears throat> It was a Benfield, you know, it's like in the Illinois, it's like a most popular uh, clinic because it was PetSmart, everybody go on the PetSmart. Uh, and PetSmart was the Benfield uh, back then. Now I think they, uh, I mean, uh, actually now looks like they are not there, at least in this store where we was. We uh, did like a contract with them, uh, no insurance or whatever, but it's be like uh, cheaper or something. Um, I asked the doctor, can actually doctor very good there. Um, he at least like you ask the can I give it a carrot for dogs? No, you know I know what the, like uh, like for people. You wanna give it. Uh, it's very hot in the car. You wanna give it for kids. Uh, the carrots. Uh, what them teeth be good, right? For the food. We I think we switched to the or Purina or I mean we tried to all Royal Canine like no all what you can find in the store, right? And they are not cheap one either we fit in the morning we fit in the evening uh, she don't eat she don't want to eat and like at night and four o'clock at night she's come and like okay the bowl of the food like uh i cannot okay look at the birds and i cannot concentrate it's so amazing birds here on a palm of a sega palm <laughs> cutie i love them they're so beautiful thing so they come at night my dog come at night and four o'clock and thinking, you know, I'm so hungry. Maybe I will finish bowl of my food. This is how she. So if you call this normal, it was okay. Um, after. Now she will be five. Probably like a almost. No, two years. Yeah, two and a half, like something like this. We move in the Florida. It too was a little bit okay. Um. And after she start to have something, she start to eat, you know. Um, of course, her ear was black, and I always thinking like, what you do in the backyard? Why they so dirty? I'm like, almost every second day, I am uh, clean her ears, and I'm like, what are you doing there? You you're only gonna dirt or what? Why they so dirty? So teeth was kind of a too like a yellowish or something, and uh, on this time I already stop it, keep give it her carrots, you know, like so she have only those kibble. She was all the time dehydrated, you know, in a, with a, in a house with a conditioner. Um, so it's like not hot, not on the street even. And she is dehydrated. She always like a, you know, brief. And after start something interesting, what I even didn't know what is that. She started to have like a red spots. And of course, like a, like a all dog owners, we are in a Facebook groups, we're in all groups um dog owners right and because of this uh i see another pictures of another dogs and how i find out what it's hot spots so we go to the vet it's florida life they give it i think apoquil drugs what actually can cause diabetes and they doesn't help they give it antibiotic, antibiotic. They doesn't help. They give it all different spray. Doesn't help. I try like a hour, like, you know, what I bring from Europe, yeah? Like, doesn't help. We buy the cone, you know, like a plastic, what you dress us on the neck, what they don't, uh, of course, who, what the animal or what, who want to dress this? She's do everything what to take it out this. And she take it out, but even you cannot watch this because it's so you you torturing your dog. She don't want to have this. Those animals hit themselves on the wall everywhere, like a leaning and just like they try to take it out every second. 
they don't don't want to stay this and until they don't take it out this they will not relax oh i try to bend this with a bandage and it's get actually worse because she decide um she was having a palm very very bad uh, because she take it out you know so they are very red so there's a hot spot it's very red and usually like in the different spots they are uh she's probably scratching or what and leeches is, is it and uh they are um getting like a pus even because she's scratching is probably you know infected and um you cannot let her stop this and it's not only like one spot it's like behind the ears like on the elbow um on the back like in the palm um i put the bandage where it was more worse and she's uh, take it out those bandage and she is uh, it was hard to take it out so she bite uh, more upper so she she actually do more so she eat her like her fur fur take it out oh gosh and uh, okay uh we back then it was like a holidays we go in new york and it was colder so if it's cold you think if they say it's flooded alive so when we go in new york why it's not go away they're cold there in the winter right it's not like in the florida and uh, and it's not disappeared she has this still and when we come back from New York, it was pretty long there. Uh, when we come back from New York, I'm like, say, it's enough, you know? It's, it's just, it's have to, we have to do something. And it's funny, like, how it's interesting when you, you don't see the before. I don't see anything before. I'm not, you know, I don't know what was not interesting or whatever. Uh, I was have it back then Instagram. And I start to see what, okay, they probably have some other uh, brand, you know, like what, uh, feet and all, uh, you know, like vets and uh, holistic vets and everybody, yeah, and they say, well, you have to dog feed like a natural food, right? And um, they just only improve because I am say it's enough. It have to be something else. And like again, like I when I was a little, like in my country, I mean, we don't have a, even back then kibble, right? Before kibble, what was just regular food, right? You know, some <laughs> they all they some of the you will probably understand and you probably even hear yeah and you will understand those people who probably get a, we call their percentage or something like from what they're promoting because they always say no dog <laughs> cannot eat like a they have to eat kibble you know like a special like a food for dogs it's what we are knowing or what they've been um marketing yeah uh, marketing looks like it's everything right uh, make you believe in everything what they say. What actually everything what you hear, you have to go and research yourself. Do research yourself and you will be surprised. But everything what even say doctors, what everything what do in marketing, you need to everything check. Is it true or not? Um, because we are do mistake, we believe somebody who is it competent because they have a, like some sort of a diploma, right? and can telling you something what, you know, they just get money from this. They just work with some brands, right? They pay them. And uh, and some of the good doctors, uh, vets and everybody, they are want the money. They stay uh, be doctors because they want the money. Before, they want to be doctor or teacher or whatever because it's like a passion of them heart, right? They want to stay doctor would do good now doctors want to most of them because they want to get money and how can you do this with the dogs with the animal they don't have a so short life how can you do this oh anyway you will now understand why i am like this emotion because everything what i've been learning everything what i am do research myself i get just shocked how can people be like this mean how can people do like this rude how they can get so bad just only because of them those some couple dollars extra and um so i'm just uh, looking back for okay we're all being cooked for dogs right when i was little but like oh i i never have a dog before but all my relatives 
uh, they have a Doberman and if you know the Doberman they have to be always uh, control the weight otherwise they have a problem with the bones if you overweight um, if you be if they will be overweight so you have to control them weight so uh, my cross mother godmother she is uh, have a Dobermans all life and uh, they cook for them uh, my friends she's cook for them my other relatives they cook for them and if you remember gosh what was before kibble how again i say we are all cook for them and again what does mean kibble right kibble it's like it's it has to be inside food but what does mean kibble it's just very high um gosh it's, it's, it's english is not my um first language so it's hard for me oh they are overcooked right so you see how dark is it it's overcooking um it was originally probably was idea overcooking and uh what they do now i mean it's all what being made by sciences okay what does mean sciences? It means somebody being tested. So they take it some chemicals, right? And being tested. On who? Or another animal, right? And it's just chemicals. So you've been feeding your dog um, some food, but actually if they have it, if, even if they made from meat, even if they was stay close to those meat, uh, those dry chemicals what give them kidney disease liver disease dehydrated and actually you don't know even if they have all those vitamins where is the, where is the all those vitamins inside where is the actual meat smell is it's, it's horrible smell and i can tell you we buy the um bags it's just it's to have a I don't know, it's just disgusting smell. So anyway, of course, like a person who is not cook, right? And uh, don't like it cook. Okay, I will want to go in the store, just a regular grocery store. And they have like a wet food, what they sell in, um, I don't know, like a sausage, you know, like like this type. And another bag like it too, and they say it's wet food. Uh, we open with a husband, we buy this, not for our pup, like when we decide what we don't want to feed anymore. Um, those kibble. I open, gosh, it's so smell. I read in the ingredients after, I'm like, it's a salt there. I mean, why need the dog salt? It's bad for them. And some sort of a preservatives inside, you know, they, they, and I'm like, and again, if you put the food, why it's so smell? And again, thinking, the put food, in a plastic like this, what they sell. How it could be uh, so long as it was actually not frozen? I mean, it's well broke, right? But it's for some reason not broke, it's never. So, okay, I start to cook for her myself. And as a person who is it very, um, you know, I am very, I'm, I'm germaphobe. You can call this germaphobe. But I actually call it it's normal because I think it's everything. And it's my dream I want to open restaurant because like to go somewhere to eat normal and what to see what is be clean it's like hard to find. But anyway, of course, for my dog I want something clean like for myself, right? I start to cook for her. Gosh, of course I start to research all what they can eat, what they cannot eat because you cannot give them everything, right? Um, and again, um, they have an interesting thing. You cannot give it everything. You're just thinking like, okay, they cannot eat mushroom. They can eat mushroom. They have a mushroom where they can eat and they're very healthy. But again, you cannot give it the uh, wild mushroom. But the wild mushroom people cannot eat, okay? After avocado, for example, or another like, um, they say apple, uh, don't give it with the skin. Are what people eat skin? What people eat avocado skin from or what so you know it's just you have to do your own research and i can tell you nothing never will destroy the health of animal 
like do this uh, chemicals. So you want to or nutrition or something what they can or or just chemicals what what just food what been made in lab and been tested on the an animal and how many animals should die and be sick but they actually go to the uh, store and again what you have to put in the food what makes having hot spot allergic same like for people you know look at how in America many kids many people have an allergic that almost every second have an allergies is because of the all those food all this gen modification food what they've been eating because of this you know i've been growing in the country we never have an allergy i never have an allergy i was living here two years you know we go in the store like and i have an allergy I'm like, are you kidding me? I never have an allergy from anything. Nothing. Or well, maybe if I am, uh, you know, hear the, uh, like a laundry soap or something, I can sneeze, which is basically chemical. I, I, can't, I don't like it, chemicals. I cannot be close to chemicals. I just start to sneeze. And my eyes are red. I don't like it. Though. And it's actually very dangerous. But what I want to say, allergies, because of the food, what you have. Milk. What is the milk in the store? What we all eat, what the food we all eat. And okay, people, we all eat fast food. We all, you know, um, is my car crazy? <laughs> my sister is a doctor and she's actually have a passion, you know, like to be the doctor. She want to stay doctor, you know, to help her people. She's a very good doctor. She study very long. And she study very hard and very good. And she's actually start like uh, work like almost like for free, you know. When she's uh, it just. And I am star uh, study sport medicine. It's I was a sportsman and I study sport medicine. It's basically the same, but only like how is that sport change the body? Yeah. Her was this food what I make less than a month less than a month all disappeared <laughs> all hot spots disappeared and since then a couple of years nothing never come back Horrible. Your ears clean, like a two weeks, and they still clean. No smell. And um, before it was like almost every day I clean. Now it's like a two weeks. It's good. She is a brief better. She's not like a dehydrated like a crazy. She can just like a, sometimes drink water. No, and maybe like after jerky, right? when I give her jerky, she is like drink water, you know, because it's dry meat. But usually she's fine. Like, and it's amazing. It's amazing. Now, interesting thing. My husband, well, after hospital, you know, my parents were, um, was here and uh, they are we decide what we buy the couple bags of the when we we, we feed the with uh, dry food before we're thinking like okay let's buy like a big bags because he cannot pick up like a heavy and i cannot bring like two so they can bring uh, bags and we just leave it in the, um, in the house <laughs> we open the bag and and feed her not before yeah before all this i'm just but, but, talk like this but inside um, so after we have a moth in the house and we cannot figure out from where is those moth I am uh, I just need to turn on the engine I cannot figure out from where it was the moth and uh, I am just one second I will go turn on the engine because I cannot if it's so hot 
Echt lekker, lekker. Zo so, ja. Yeah. Uh, we get the more for everywhere in the house. This is not funny, it was, it was horrible. And they did also cook and we cannot figure out from where is it. And after I'm like, I don't even what, we open the back and I'm like, oh my god, it's moth inside. Moth inside in the dry, in the, in the back of the dry food. He put on the garage after we have in the garage everywhere, oh my god. We cannot couple months read with those moth because they make it cook and everywhere. They probably cook, uh, make it cook and even in the vent, uh, in the closets. Actually, if you have uh, some problem like this, you need to buy, uh, we try everything. Of course, we cannot use the chemicals uh, because we have a dog and I'm sure that it's even good for anybody. But we are by um, cedar, cedar wood, yeah? Uh, I think cedar wood, just some sort of wood, what they really don't like it. It's like in a couple of days the air is gone. It, and of course we are clean the walls there, make it like so high there. It's like we climb and can try to clean. Gosh, it was, and everything I am was did this. And how I did this, they make it. But when you have a, um, a ceiling and you have a, a wall, you know, they make it like there in the those corner. And it's, it's almost like impossible clean there. So I, I take it, I have at home like katana, katana katana like big one and i put the napkin on the katana white napkin and i climb down and i'm clean there like this what to read about those coconuts so well it was it's just crazy it was well right pop right i give you this one go ah, you wanna make it it's a jerky <laughs> yeah got the picture give me more i can give her one jerky that's what i make I know, Bob. Mama, do video. So quickly do video. Enough talking. And I also try to eat little, but I don't eat anything. So just cinnamon. So what I just wanna tell. Stephen <laughs> Gay. He's so baby. What I just wanna say, guys. This is what very serious. Um. But after. All this research because I am decide like a person who is it okay Daka maybe we start to make it food yeah and uh, it's it was now I mean it's another hell story long story because it's maybe in the in a conversation it's be like a, oh step step another step another step but it's not like a, oh you know how for her let's make it uh, for the fresh market or something we even didn't know what we can sell in the fresh market you know it's almost just in well, it's a big industry. It's the big, huge corporation who is on a lot. And if you know, they're on the, like a Mars company, like another company, they are on the chemicals, chocolate. I mean, it's just been crazy. They just buy everything. They own Banfield Clinic. So when the veterinary study, and it's not what I say something like this, Vets tell about this. Doctors tell about this. Honest doctor. Okay? And it's okay what now, like, everybody know about this. I let, like, 10 years ago or 5 years ago or whatever, they just... Nobody don't want to tell about this. It's like, yeah, you go in university, your college, university, you go study. And it's like, you cannot say anything. They will throw away you from university or you could just not become the veterinary if you don't want to work. If you want to work in those systems, work. If you don't want to work, yeah, and just do it what they're telling you. And uh, so all those big corporations, there are all those, they are sponsoring of all those schools. And they've been telling them, okay, you are stay veterinary. You have to tell for the people. You have to feed only those particular brand, only kibble food. They've been telling this. They've been um, marketing like a crazy. They are sponsoring veterinary, nutrition veterinary, you know, like they are all telling you how balancing is it, how good is it. Is it? 
Serious? You know, you cannot lie so long. Some days it will become the true all, yeah? It's very sad what it's worth, uh, you know, it's, it's cost so uh, bad and so many lives been broken because before the people find out the truth. Many years, and this is what most said. But then still, actually, many people don't know about this. They still believe to that. We still believe doctor. And our whole story. My husband was in the hospital. They've been feeding him, like, no, after a surgery, like a strange, like, they give it some soup. It's basically some just powder with a lot of strange chemicals. Smell like a horrible. And mm, just, you just put in the water and those powder yeah and it's like a soup i know with my stomach i just threw out all this um some like a person with a diabetes they give him like a chocolate drink they give him like a uh you know those um jello like an um, apple gel uh in a cups plastic plug cup i mean how many sugar there i mean it's not a real uh apple it's just concentrate you want to say what after surgery you can give it this? And when I am making the soup from real chicken, from organic chicken, many times wash, not any salt, no, not any nothing, just like a bouillon like this. <laughs> and they've been telling me, the doctor told me, you cannot give him like a, you cannot bring like a those food because we are responsible. You cannot feed this. They in the hospital, it's only something what we know what we feed. I'm like, <laughs> And they like, oh, we throw away you from the uh, hospital. I'm like, thank you so much what you throw away as dear doctor from hospital. What well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's what saved our life. And uh, <laughs> so they want to tell what this is, it's the bad. And uh, this is what they are given. <laughs> I have a pictures of this on Instagram, like in those soup. Mm -hmm. Soup. And they actually been more worse at doing test because uh, test is like he is, was with those two pot he's supposed to um, breathe from the those um, no it wasn't him fraud and uh, they they want to take it out and uh, they want to give it food and if he is not throw out yeah it means they can take it out and I'm like how you cannot throw out from those chemicals I don't know it's very hard anyway same thing they have a system they tell them what they be supposed to tell tell and they know what, what they know what it's not good soup they know what this is what they've been feeding they know what this is what they promoting it's not good but it's like this you want to work in those hospital you want to work in those clinic you have to say this and you cannot tell the truth right because they kick you out right And some of the people, you know, they are not like, okay, I cannot be so bad. I cannot work in a system who tell me like I do like this. I will better change my profession. I will better like go work, I don't know, in a store and I don't know, it doesn't matter where. But I will not do what they tell me to because I know what it's bad. I know what it's can hurt the person. I know what it's to kill the dog. No. So, it's good what now more people know the truth. It's not what now, the, we have a, all this, you know, internet and everything, what you can go in your own research. You can see the actual um, true by the even, you know, like just experience. It's just, just the real food, guys. Nothing's better. You don't need your dogs, any preservatives, any salt, any sugar. No, you don't have a money for buying this. Ex yeah, some of the like expensive buy food. Like it's not like you just buy gold treats. No, make yourself. It's the same like, I, it's the same like your child. The animal is the same like your child. No need to treat them like a... I'm sure what YouTube tell me. 
let me say those words, right? It's like our child and you have to feed them like a real child, right? We buy for our kids food. We don't give them like a bag of the dry food. I hope not, right? And um, and plus with the animal and, and it's been so sad they don't live long. Like a peanut butter. Peanut butter, very good for them, very healthy for them. It's the protein for them. But in many stores you can go, you see, you know, like in the bottles, in the cans, those peanut butter. Palm oil. I mean, I told my husband, it's been so popular, like, you know, for kids in a school, like an old movie everywhere, you take the bread, put a, a peanut butter, and there is a palm oil. Why you and, and people didn't know what palm oil is so bad. We we feed them for kids. They put xylenol. Xylenol can kill dog. They just can kill the dog. And if you take it to peanuts and you grind them, or go just like in a whole food. They have a machine with grinded peanuts. You can give this. You see what it's real peanuts. You see what they don't have any additives. And and, and dough. It's all what needed. Just take it the clean food. Just take it the normal food. Like for example, I am even in my yard like growing. I'm not put and never fertilize anything. And I'm not understand why you need to fertilize something. I hate fertilizing. I never fertilize not grass not any plants nothing i'm just put water same like a like a meat G grass fed beef jerky grass fed beef i mean can i ask you when i was little we have even song with all oh, cow eat like a grass what else they have to eat well huh what they always eat grass they have to eat grass why you feed them something else and after we asking why did everybody have an allergy? You eat meat. Or what those uh, cow eat? And after milk. What it's milk from cow? What the milk you buy in the store? Lactose very bad. Lactose very bad. What the milk you drink? It's not the milk even. The cheese is very bad for dogs. Cheese is very bad for dogs. Cheese is very bad for people. Everybody stay fat after cheese. It's the salt and uh, fat. This is what cheese. It's all. But it's not the cheese originally. What I make myself, natural cheese. They don't have a lactose even. I mean, this is how you have to make a cheese. It's natural. They don't fat. They're not supposed to be without fat. They're not supposed to be very fat. They have a, they have a special technology for this. You know, they have a special like a recipe, and it's and it's it's just it's very healthy. It's very needed. It's it's the culture. It's very good bacteria for your stomach. Kefir. It's very good. It's calcium. It's what needed for us bones for growing our, our body. You know, it's 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 needed. But you need it good. You don't need this one, mate. like, you know, some consistency would, yeah, can cause an allergy. I cannot drink those milk. I know my husband drink those. I hate this milk. I don't know how you guys drink those milk. When I was a little, you know, I have a from the, again, like I go in the village and we have a, like a cow, we have a, a goat and uh, those like with bubbles, you know, I really love it there. And it's just like a fresh, warm milk, you know, it's like, it's a good one. This is what they're selling like in those. It's, I mean, like, come on. Kids growing on this. Of course, they will have an allergy. You every day feed them with something strange, right? Just stop it and just thinking, you know, like you can go on the farm, go like in the market, like and buy there. Now there's another problem, like in the many markets, like somebody like a buy and after a sell. You know, I can... Uh, some of the markets I'm like they have you have to ask and are you growing this I go in the market I buy um, tomatoes I say uh, 
do you grow those tomato? No. I was trying because it's worse it even when the store was. So you have to ask if they real grow those. So because they have some markets when they can buy from somebody and after selling. And uh, or eggs. We buy eggs and after my husband have a diary from this. So it's it's too you have to uh, check, you know, like and uh, ask him again that they have uh, all this documentation. This is what's sad. It's like I don't know, but you don't control this or what? Oh my god. Well, so what I try to tell. Before you all this do, don't don't trust for somebody who show you. You see, I have a diploma, but I have a, a diploma of the doctor. So now I will teach you how to live. You listen only me, right? Because I have a diploma doctor. And now I know everything. We have to, it, it's sad, but we have to listen our head, analyze everything, research everything. And remember, nothing never will be more better. Need organic, Tiffany. <laughs> You're tired, listen. Need organic natural food I don't know even those words organic because now like in the store if you go like and buy organic now they have another like a whole story like when they put <sighs> appeal if you hear about this yeah on organic food oh what appeal it's a mercury a mercury good they say but it's fine it's safe it's a mercury. Mercury good. No, if mercury good, so means yeah, it's safe. I don't know, think so. And uh, I don't know. They have a good doctors. They still have a good doctors. And it's hard to find them, but this is another challenge because money is like a everything. It's a top or whatever there. This is really become a problem, real big problem, but it's scary problem because health, it's most important. It's, it's, it's everything what we got. It's all, it's our life. And look at even the reclame everywhere. It's just only, only about health, only about medicine, only about insurance. And look at how now very expensive uh, insurance and doctors for vet, uh, for for animals. It's more even expensive for people. <laughs> so buy natural for your dog or cook for your dog. Don't feed your dog kibble. I will not talk about now raw or not raw or whatever. Uh, it's it's your choices. If you can find like very fresh meat. You probably can fit raw. I don't know. I am lightly cook for my dog. I am lightly cook, and uh, I don't want to uh, anything like this again. If you if you have it, maybe I'm I'm not an expert like in raw food. I will not tell you about this. But lightly cook food. They do have all vitamins, right? And uh, you know, like for me, it's like. Like a people, I mean, if I if you lightly cook a fish and, and <laughs> vegetable, you steam vegetables, you still have those vitamins. So why you need to eat raw? And again, uh, another thing would also same same like a vegetable. You cannot guarantee again. I, I, I cannot grow. I don't have like a, f a farm or whatever. But I can uh, grow everything. Like and again now everything like fertilizing or something. So from clean from toxin, you better actually uh, everything steam a little bit. And of course. Uh, for them what to better the addressings will be better if it will be like because when you steam for example they'll stay a little bit softer right even like we are broccoli we are steam so all vitamins everything like even i after a hospital uh they recommended me like a you know like a like little uh, meatballs uh without anything that is was steam and actually you don't need it by fancy steam if you don't have a money for this you just take it apart Put the water 
you know they have a, some um they in the store buy uh, sell very very cheap one uh like um metal thing with little holes you know and you put the meat inside no meat or uh, vegetables whatever you want to steam under you put water they're not supposed to touch those uh, metal thing you put inside those vegetables or meat cover uh, with the lid and cook it uh, it's boiled and after do a small uh, heat and just cook this and all you don't need a fancy steamer right it's everything simple um so guys i think my ma market soon over we have to walk with my dog tiffany tiffany will not eat blueberry blueberry actually very very healthy for dogs and um I'm sure I probably something missed saying, but I think I say very enough. And talk to you soon. Subscribe to my channel. Please try our food or tell about our food. It's called Doggy Insurrection. And um, or cook your own. share those video put like what more people know about how bad kibble how it's important eat natural food and if you remember i am in those video don't telling you anything new everything this you already know this everything this People know hundred hundred years ago and they just forget about this. They just forget because of our our marketing what they've been doing now. They forget about the fundamental, you know, like what it's just what's important. Nothing's better need everything natural, right? Everything with nature, everything with natural. It's all good. Same like conditioner. What's better? Conditioner, air, or natural, right? Yeah, I'm not telling you when it's like or something, but we don't talk about it. But what's better? Sit in the room or go in the park? Exactly. Answer your no or write in the comment. Thank you for everybody. Love the dogs, love the cats. All you need is love and golden retriever <laughs> actually any dog i love all of them cats dogs whatever <laughs>